What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So, to those who didn't know, Christian Mbili and Ronald Ellis recently fought over in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, USA. Fight went the distance. It was scheduled for 10 rounds. It went the whole 10 rounds. And Christian Mbili won the fight by unanimous decision, with all three judges having it in his favor, with two judges giving him every single round 100 to 90, and one judge scoring it 99. 91 giving one round to ronald ellis before i get more into the video i just want to say thank you thank you so much for watching please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button it helps out the video it helps out the channel i'd really appreciate it so i, I made a prediction video leading up to this fight and uh, i said it in that video that this fight uh, was under the radar nobody really knew about this fight nobody was really talking about this fight i'm pretty much the only one who's talking about it and a few people on social media as well and uh, I, I tried to find the fight, can't find it anywhere, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to find. I guess it, it, nobody recorded it or posted it up on YouTube. Uh, but based on what I've seen reaction on, the reactions I've seen on social media, it sounds like it was a dominant win from M.M. Billy. Sounded like he was the aggressor. Sounded like he was just outlanding, outpunching Ronald Ellis. And uh, Ellis was just, you know, the, the punch output was just too much for Ellis. And, um, and Billy cruised a unanimous decision win. Uh, I've read that Ellis took some big shots, but he was able to take them uh, without really getting hurt. So, so yeah, what does that tell me? Maybe the power of Mbilly might not be there. Who knows? But like I said, I didn't not see the fight. I mean, he has a very good knockout ratio. Uh, 20, 18 out of his 20 wins are by way of knockout or TKO. And by the way, this is his 20th win, and he's someone to keep an eye on, Christian Mbili. He he may not be that well known right now, uh, but he's definitely somebody to keep an eye on. Who those who don't know, he's up there in the rankings, number 13 by the WBC. And this is an old ranking too. I don't know the more updated ranking. So, so yeah, he's someone to keep an eye on. So start paying attention to Christian Mbili. Uh, he's undefeated for a reason, and he he loves to fight. He's an exciting fighter. Uh, he goes out there, lets his hands go. He loves to fight you on the inside. He puts on the pressure. He lets his hands go. He's an exciting fighter to watch. And uh, it sucks that this fight against Ronald Ellis did not get any coverage. And yeah, Ronald Ellis now suffers his third loss in his professional career. Um, two losses in a row now for Ronald Ellis. Um, who knows what's next for him. Um, he's look like It's looking like he's going to be just a gatekeeper at this point. Uh, at least that's what it looks like for Ronald Ellis. It's going to be tough to rebound after two losses in a row, losing three of his last five fights now. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what, what happens. And, you know, losing to Emmanuel Alim too, that was a controversial fight, if I remember correctly. The Matt Korobov fight was wonky. Like, that fight, he only won that fight because Korobov got an injury. So he could have lost five fights in a row. So, anyway... Um, yeah, Ellis needs to, uh, yeah, there's a lot of rebounding to do for, for Ellis. Um, as, as for Christian and Billy, hopefully his mo promoter and management can get him a bigger fight on a bigger platform so that, I mean, this fight was overshadowed. There were a lot of fights over the weekend. So, um, I can't blame that this fight, nobody knew about this fight. Anyway, it is what it is. If you did see the fight, let me know in the comment section below, what did you think about it? And if you have a link to the fight, share it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Th thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right. Thanks.